Many people will tell you that uh, you have to do quick mental math during uh, case interviews, right? So practice mental math drills, right? To become really, really fast in doing uh, math in your head. And this is just a tiny example of this ever amplified stream of nonsense advice, essentially, that you get from all these people out there who are essentially copying each other uh, without ever having been trained as a real interviewer within MBB. This myth about mental math is just a prime example for this. Um, because the truth is, no MBB firm is interested in your mental math skills. It is simply not part of uh, the assessment scheme that MBB firms are employing, right? So <laughs> this is what you have to understand. Um, but what is part of their assessment scheme and what is extremely important is how well, how sharp and how clear you can do numerical analysis. Um, because at the end of the day, what matters is that your analyses are correct and easy to follow. That's what they are testing, right? So how do you make sure that you are correct and easy to follow? <laughs> well, you write it down, right? So what you have to practice is not mental math. What you have to practice is essentially fifth grade written math. That's it. That's what you have to practice, right? And I have seen people who have become extremely good and extremely fast in doing mental math. They became essentially calculators on two legs, you could say, right? Um, but the consequence of this has been their performance in the case interview has become worse, right? Because think about it. If you become extremely fast and extremely good with mental math, what will happen? Um, if you start to do all sorts of math stunts in your head, right, doing like five operations at the same time, what happens is that all of a sudden you become extremely hard to follow. And the interviewer will always assume the way you behave in an interview, um, this is also how you will behave with a client. So, um, and if you become so fast and so quick uh, in doing complicated math uh, yeah, calculations in your head, well, then you become very hard to follow for the client. And guess what? This means that your performance becomes worse. Because if the client cannot follow you, then it becomes completely irrelevant whether your uh, calculation is correct or not. It is simply not a relevant category anymore. Because as soon as the client cannot follow you anymore, then you will struggle to get the client by it. And this means this is a bad performance from your side, right? So please make sure that you don't fall into this trap of uh, investing time and energy into something that actually makes your performance worse, right? Instead, make sure that you do things in the right way. So this will ensure essentially that you show the actual qualities that the MBBs, uh, that the MBBs need in, uh, in their ranks and that they are testing for instead of optimizing for, at the end of the day, imaginary nonsense, uh, like mental math, which has been invented by people who claim to be experts but don't understand the assessment scheme and the underlying rationale for these MBB firms.